Let's take a seat. You can go ahead and sit in this chair. I set this up for you. And I'll take a seat too. All right, Jaquan, this is it. You can hear good? Yeah, I can okay. definitely hear good. Cool. Today, we were helping our friend Jaquan place his girlfriend's Melissa to the gold digger test. Yeah, so primarily why I brought you, you know what I'm saying, how'd you come through is just because I wanted to get to know you. Right. Because <laughs> you're a fucking stranger. Yeah. But like, tell me about yourself, what you like to do. Jaquan wanted to find out if Melissa would be willing to trade him for another guy who has more money. So we hired our friend Ant to pretend to be rich and ask Melissa on a date. We managed to convince Melissa to come to this million dollar mansion and made her believe that Ant was the owner of it. We also made her believe that Ant was a hip hop artist who just signed a multi-million dollar record deal. What Melissa didn't know though, is that we had rigged this mansion with a bunch of hidden cameras because Ant was about to ask her on a date. What she also didn't know is that her boyfriend Jaquan would be upstairs watching and listening in to whether or not she would accept or decline going on that date. Doing this is not even in my, I, I wouldn't do this at all. Right, right, right. No, I get you, I get you, dude. I'm I just you. very anxious right now. I can't wait to see, you know, yeah. what he says to her and how she reacts and, <laughs> and, and shit like that because those moments gonna be the defining moments for me. With everything in place, Ant begins to make his move. Whether Melissa passes or fails this gold digger test is now completely up to her. Yo, 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 Jaquan, what is good? I'm here, I just pulled up. I just need the, uh, the, the gate code. Yes, the gate code is four zero zero. All right, perfect. So just drive all the way up, and we're gonna meet you outside, and the cameras are rolling already, okay? All right. Damn, nice run. <laughs> what is good? So I'm just gonna show you where to park, okay? Because when Melissa arrives, she just can't see your car, okay? So we're gonna we're gonna hide your car right over here, okay? What we're gonna do is one of our camera guys is gonna park his car behind yours to obscure your car. But you're gonna come in all the way over here. So you might be wondering how we managed to convince Melissa to come to this million dollar mansion. Well, we honestly couldn't have done it without Jaquan's help. Jaquan, I appreciate you helping us uh, helping us convince Melissa to take up this gig. Yes. You know, we yes. could not have done this without you and everything, so. Of course, you can back out of this at any moment. No, no. Uh, like, you know, this is new to me. I never done anything like this because I've, I've always trusted her, but just yeah. something been on my heart and. I feel it, I so, feel it. I mean, when something is in, on your heart or in your gut, it's like, go with it. I feel go it, yeah, it. So, I feel you know, it. I'm, I just want to make sure. Absolutely. So, so we had Jaquan tell Melissa that a friend of a friend was going out of town and needed a house sitter for the entire week. This supposed friend of a friend was of course Ant. Jaquan told Melissa that Ant was going to Las Vegas for an entire week in order to film a new music video and that he was paying very good money to whoever was down to house sit his home. Jaquan could easily play this off because he's actually an aspiring actor and model who's worked with some big celebrities. He's been in music videos by Melly and Six Lack, Wisdom, Lil Easy, Lil Durk, and more. So heck, for all Melissa could have known, Ant could have been a rapper on the level of like Lil Uzi Vert wanting his house babysat. I'd have been through a lot, but that don't mean that I'm ever gonna stop cause you know that I gotta get to the guap. I am not switching no sides. I'm gonna be with all them niggas I came with. She like the way that I ride. Watch for your bitch, I might just make a lane switch. She know that pussy is wild. Come over here and girl, let me just tame it. Okay, but anyways, as I'm sure you all already know, Jaquan was successful in at least intriguing Melissa to pick up the gig. From here, Ant would do the rest. Yo, yo, what's up? What's up, how are you? I'm good, how you doing? Good. It's nice to finally meet you. Well, virtu virtually, yeah. Great minds think alike. What you up to right now though? Just running errands today, it's just a chill day, so. So this FaceTime call would serve two purposes. The first is that this is where Ant would begin building trust with Melissa. Basically, we just chopped it up about everything over text message, so you already got a good idea of what's going on. Yeah. I don't need you to do a whole lot of stuff. Like, it's not tedious. You don't have to sweep or dust anything. You know what I'm saying? All I need you to do is just make sure that things are being ran accordingly. I got the maintenance guy coming, the pool guys coming. I got everything got here on a schedule. I won't, I won't blast you with all this information because it ain't a point. I'm gonna just put it on the fridge for you so then when you come, you can see it and then you, you know, just go from there. I mean, that's pretty much it. The reason I'm asking you to do this is because my family is uh, back home in Cleveland. Otherwise, they would do it for me. I would just ask my mom or my sister or somebody, you know what I'm saying? So, and then all my niggas is going with me, so. The second purpose of this call was for Ant to schedule an in-person meeting with Melissa in regards to the house sitting position. I actually was thinking too that I, I wanted to meet you in person. So just so I can get a feel for you, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to just have somebody I, you know, never met in my house, you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, I feel that. It's not, and look, don't get me wrong, it's not that I don't trust you. Yeah. It's, it's just that I need to be able to fill you out, you know? Needless to say, Melissa ultimately agreed to meet up with Ant. Now, there were many areas in this mansion where Ant could potentially make his move, but we ultimately decided that the best place for him to do so would be the backyard. So remember, she's coming over here. She's not coming over here for a job interview. She's coming over here literally to just get to know Ant in person. Because okay. as of now, all they've been doing is just texting. Of course, you were there for that FaceTime call. Yeah. And yeah, but today she's going to actually meet Ant in person. Okay. Today is going to be the day that Ant's actually going to first get to know her, gotcha. get comfortable with her, right? Yeah. Like break the ice with her. Okay. And then when he feels the time is right, then he's going to make his move. This this whole setup, you know, is is beautiful. You know, if there's any way to find out if, you know, my, my <laughs> girl's a, a cheetah, this, this is the way. This is the way. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> because if she look at all this and still say, no, I'm good. Yeah, if she say no to this shit, bro, you got a wife. Okay. But right. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna go pretty hard though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit her with that swag. <sighs> Man, if she if she fails, she she might have to be left here. To be honest, <laughs> you gonna leave her with me? <laughs> nah, <I'm just> playing. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even live here. <laughs> <laughs> we, we we gonna see. Hopefully. She passed the test yeah. with flying colors and just like, look, all this is nice and beautiful, but I have something great with my man and I'm, hopefully that's, that's the response. You yeah. know, we gonna, we gonna see. Hello? Yo. Hey, what's up? I'm, I'm, I'm just checking on you to see if you're still pulling up. Oh yeah, I'm coming. All right, shit, and I guess I'll see you then. All right, for sure. All right, bro. With Melissa's scheduled arrival approaching, all that was left to do was to add the finishing touches. We set up and hid the remaining cameras that we had left. We concealed Jaquan's car, and when Melissa was about 10 minutes out, we each got into our positions. All right, everything is set up and ready to go. You can see the camera right there. I know yes. you can't. I know that's not the best angle right now, yeah. but it will be. And that's where Ant's gonna seat her down right now. So you'll see her come in right now. Just put those headphones on and kind of like listen in. Okay. We had concealed Ant's mic as best as we could, but if Melissa were to notice it, we told him to just say that he was in the middle of recording a song or something. Ant is an actual rapper in real life, so he could play it off. But anyways, Melissa was about to be here any moment now, which meant that pretty soon, Ant would be asking her on a date. Yo. I'm here, I'm just at the bottom by the gate. Okay, cool, cool, cool. The code is four zero zero. All right. Um, I'm, about to, I'm about to come outside and meet you. Just come through the gate and then come all the way up the hill. Okay. All right. Melissa had arrived, and as instructed, she drove past the gate and up the hill, where she was eventually greeted by Ant. Ant then further instructed Melissa on where to park. He formally met her in person for the first time, and then he proceeded to walking her into his lavish home. This is my house. Mi casa. Oh. What you think? Pretty soon, not yet, but pretty, pretty soon. Maybe in about five minutes, it should okay. be, you okay. should see her here. This is home. This is my living room right here. That's the uh, big, big dog office. I signed my record deal in here, you know what I'm saying? Right here? Yeah. Can't go into too much detail, but this is a very historic place right here, you know what I'm saying? This is the place that made me rich. Oh my God. How was your job? So cool. uh, it was good. Yeah? So beautiful. Literally, you have like views. So right now, he's flashing the house to her. He must be okay. downstairs right now, just straight, just flashing the house. Just, okay. This is my home. This is this. Pretty much what we told him to do and stuff. Yeah. I can't wait to see, you know, yeah. what he says to her and how she reacts and, <laughs> and, and shit like that because uh, those moments are going to be the defining moments for me. The bathroom's right there if you need to use a bathroom. Here, we have the family entertainment room, you know? Amp flashes areas of his supposed house to Melissa and then he proceeds to taking her to the backyard as planned. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Literally so nice. Yeah. You like the view? I love it. You can see You're everything. You're so lucky. Yeah, you can see everything. There's no telling exactly what was going through Melissa's mind, but hopefully by now, she was utterly convinced that Ant was who he said he was and that this was truly his home. After a couple of minutes of enjoying the view, Ant eventually proceeded to seating Melissa exactly where we wanted him to seat her. You can go ahead and sit in this chair. I set this up for you. And I'll take a seat too. I've been standing up for a minute now. I'm trying to relax. <laughs> Perfect. All right, Jaquan, this is it. You can hear good? Yeah, I can okay. definitely hear it good. Cool. So the moment of truth was right around the corner, but Ant couldn't make his move just yet. He had to build into it and break the ice first. So he began by reiterating the duties and responsibilities of the house sitting gig. You know, it's not too much to do. You're just letting people in, packages coming in, you know, between the schedule I told you about two to six. What do you think about everything? Like, like 
if I can handle it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like. Yeah, that sounds easy. Yeah. <laughs> got it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not too much to do, so. And I can like call you if I, anything. Happens. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, without a doubt. Can I have like people over, or like, do you want me to just? I wish. I wish. Nah. Okay. It's fine. Uh, you know, so I just thought just I'd ask because yeah. I don't want to like. That's the only part about it, I guess, that I do suck is you're gonna be by yourself. But it's fine. <laughs> yeah. I'll just like watch movies or something. You could watch. You could watch. I can like swim though, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. If sure. it's like warm enough, I, I'll probably will. Yeah, the water cold. You know what I'm saying? But it's fine. Cannonball in that bitch. <laughs> you could swim. You could tan. As we got, I got tanning chairs over there. You know what I'm saying? You get cooling out that way. And I got a gym in the garage. So you if you want to work out. Gym here too. Yeah. What the heck? I'll, 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 I'll show it to you later. You know. <laughs> Primarily, why I brought you. You know what I'm saying? How'd you come through? Is just because I wanted to get to know you. Because. Right. <laughs> You're a fucking stranger. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, tell me about yourself. What you like to do? Uh, I like to work out. Really? That's why, yeah, that's why when you said, like, the whole gym thing, I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> so after reiterating the gig, Ant continues making small talk with Melissa. Jaquan continues to listen in for a solid 15-ish minutes. Eventually, though, Ant finally began transitioning into asking Melissa on a date. It's a blessing because I've been working hard for a while. You know, I left Cleveland a long time ago to come to LA to start this music shit. And I just kept working hard and eventually I got noticed and they put a deal on the table and boom, here I am. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so cool. Yeah. Just, can I hear something? Like some of your, just like one of your songs. <sighs> Maybe. I just want to hear like one song. I'll make a deal with you. I don't, cause I don't want to, I don't want to show you my shit and then you be like, like, oh, I'm staying at his house. I like, I no, like, I like, no, 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 for real though. I like the anonymity, you feel me? Like for you to like kind of stay guessing, you know, being to not know of who oh, I am. Oh my God. Cause I mean, you know okay, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you, the cancel culture is crazy. You know what I'm saying? You, you'll find a reason to put me on blast. You know how people be for clout? I don't, I don't know. Now I trust you, but I got to protect myself at all costs. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'll make a deal with you when I come back and when, when the job is done, I'll show you my shit. Okay. I'll show you my Deal. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> And then maybe you could grill up a few steaks or something, you know what okay. I'm saying? Have a little party or something, I don't know. We can kick it. We can kick it, yeah. I can, show, I can show you my cooking skills. Yeah? Is it is it really raw like that? No, I'm good. I'm telling you, I'm good. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I like the sound of that. Got all the seasonings. You got all... <laughs> hey. I mean, I got a good recipe too, so if yours is better than mine, I don't know. You okay, know we saying? can have a cook-off then. We have to cook. If you cook better than me, I might have to. No, you, you should make yours and I'll make mine. And then we See can like taste better? Yeah. I'm going to dominate you. Listen, my mom is a chef, so. I'm a chef. <laughs> oh my God, yo. I got an idea. Matter of fact, I got a, I got a deal. If my steak is better than yours. Oh God. I get to take you on a date. Okay, I think this might be it. I think he might be making his move. <laughs> um. Shit, scratch the steak. How do we just say fuck it and just go on a date? You just figure it out whenever you off, you know, I take, I come pick you up. You get, I come pick you up in the Tesla. Matter of fact, in two weeks, I got a Ferrari coming out here. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. <laughs> You're actually getting one? I already paid for it. I already paid cash. It's red. It's my favorite color. That's my favorite color. No way. I swear. Nah, you capping. <laughs> no, I swear. The fuck is she entertaining that for? I don't, I, don't, I don't get it. I feel like, you know, we could just go with the flow. Gee. It's a few good spots in Malibu. We can see, they have the outdoor seating available. You know, we could eat outside on a, on a pier, you know, just watch the waves and stuff like that. Sounds nice. You could wear another sweater like that one because it might be a little chilly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is keeping me warm. <laughs> Would you be down for that? Would you be down? Yeah. Yeah, why not? <laughs> but I'm serious, like, not even on no, like, just friends type shit, but like trying to get to know you, know you type shit. You know what I'm saying? How'd that sound? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. You with that? Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Yo, man. That was, is... I mean, that was, that was pretty much, I don't, I don't know what the fuck I just watched. You know? But shit, I mean, if you down to do that, why don't you come to Vegas? Man? She, she did uh, just agree to. Oh crap, I think, I think he's asking her, he's asking her to go to Vegas. You should put the headphones on. He is <laughs> so Ant was instructed to simply ask Melissa on a date. However, he took it a whole nother level and invited her to come with him to Las Vegas. Well, <laughs> aren't I supposed to house it for you? Who's gonna watch your house? I could find somebody. <laughs> what, so I'm just supposed to like cancel everything? I don't, I don't even have money to go. That's like why I was- That's saying. funny to me that you think you would have to worry about any money. Well, I got you. Don't worry about it. 
like, what do, you, well, what do you mean? Like, I have to get, like, a flight and, like, you know, like, food and everything while we're there. And, Don't like, worry. The hotel. Don't worry about it. I'll book your flight. I'll take you on a little shopping spree, too, or something. <laughs> I mean, I'm shooting a music video for a few days, but we're going to have so much downtime. So Ant is basically saying to her right now, fuck the house sitter job. Yo, this is, this is. How many other girls are you taking with you? Is there going to be, like, other girls there? I mean, my homies got girls they, they bring in with them, so. Yeah, I just, like. I don't want to be like a one-night stand or something like that. Like, I don't, I'm not like that. No, nah, it ain't even like that, you know? Yeah. I want to get to know you. We ain't even got to do nothing. Okay. You know, we could just chill. Okay. It's up to you. I mean, if I can move my stuff around, then maybe so. Yeah, that would be, that would be awesome if you was able to get that shit out the way, you know? <clears throat> but like... If I got to compensate for it, I can still pay you. You know, because I'm still u utilizing your time. So you'll get to kick it with me, and on top of that, you know, you're making money. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, so you're going to still pay me to, like, do... Like, okay, wait. Well, if you need the, if you need the money, you know, so obviously you're doing this because you need to get paid, right? Yeah. So, you know, out of the kindness of my heart, I got you. you know? So we're going to go to Vegas, you're going to pay for everything there, and you're going to pay me for this job that I'm not even doing? Well, I did just sign a record deal, so that ain't no money. You know? Alright, yeah. Um, like I said, just let me see about my things. Sure, yeah. I'm pretty sure I can. I just have to, like, see if I can move some stuff around in my schedule, just like this week. Yeah, it would be nice. But it sounds like really fun, so. It would be nice. Fucking speak. I mean, she's not, she's not, she's, she's sounding more hesitant to this. Yeah, hesitant, but, but still entertaining it. Right. She's still, she's still, she's still entertaining it. That's what I'm saying. Right. I've been with her long enough to know her facial expressions as far as like if she's going to do something or not. And that's what she was showing me uh -huh. just now. So she didn't verbally say yes to him, uh -huh. but non verbally she did. She want to go for sure. Anyways, I got a little sidetrack. I think I got ADHD or something. <laughs> it's okay. Right. We did get sidetracked. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay. Enough of the Vegas and the romantic stuff and the stakes. We can talk about that later. I, w I was I got you here because I wanted to get to know you. So, but what else do you like to do? Oh yeah, um, like hobby wise. Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm actually like getting into like drawing and painting. And oh stuff. shit, for real? Yeah. Um, you don't have to listen in anymore if you if you don't want to anymore, unless you want to. But they're just chit chatting at, right at, now. About, at, at this point. Yeah. So you you have two options. Um, if you think she failed this test then you pretty much have the option of going downstairs and having a conversation with her. If you don't think she hasn't failed yet, we could keep this going for a couple more days or maybe even a week and see how far she's actually no, 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 willing no, no. to go. You yeah, know? yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go downstairs to confront her. Okay. Fuck keeping it going. So you, so you think she failed the test? You she, think she, this is enough, this is? She completely failed the test. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Flying colors failed the fucking mm -hmm. test. Because there's a possibility that if you go downstairs, she's gonna say, I, I wasn't going to go through with any of it. I just said what I said just to say it. I wasn't going to go that's through with it. Look, look, you're right. That's definitely a possibility, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not here to waste any more fucking time. I mean, I set this up so I wouldn't have to waste time. Her actions right now is showing me yeah. that she's not, she's not here for me. She, she's willing to entertain other guys because they say they may, might have this or might have all that superficial materialistic shit, you know, and she's reacting off of that. And that's a problem for me. I'm, whenever you're ready, I'm ready to fucking go down there okay. and, and to confront her. Like, what made you what made you want to start doing that? The painting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we've literally been on lockdown for like a year, so. What were you doing before? Well, before I was working at a restaurant downtown. Okay. But, yeah, that closed pretty much like right when COVID hit. Yeah. So, like. I'm pretty much all set, ready to go. I think all of our other cameras are set, ready to go. Right, okay. guys? Yeah. Whenever you're ready, Jaquan. Let's go. So as Jaquan makes his way downstairs to confront Melissa, I want to use this time to thank you all for being here with me today and to shamelessly plug our podcast. If you guys haven't checked it out, be sure to do so. We have some crazy conversations on there and heck, we might even have Jaquan on as a guest. Now also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to check out and join our brand new Discord server that we just opened up. And don't forget to check out Ant's brand new single that he just dropped. It's fire. But with that out of the way, I want you guys to know that a lot of time and effort went into making this video so I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope that it was worth the wait and most importantly I hope you guys have your talkies because you guys already know this shit's gonna be good what a surprise what a fucking surprise
Um, um, what? What, 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 what am I? What the fuck are you doing here? What is this? What the hell? Oh, now you don't know what this is. I've been, I've been listening to the conversation you and him been, been having. So, so Melissa, um, my name is Sergio, and I just want to let you know, like this entire thing was actually all just a, just a test. Like basically, we were helping Jaquan find just out a if he would or would um, end up agreeing to go on a date with another guy. Oh my God, I was literally working. Working. So, I was gonna work for him. I was gonna. Want working. To working. No. 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 The shit was business. You made the shit personal. Agreeing to steak dinners, and then he say to you, "Well, if I win or I lose, we should still go out on a date and shit." And you agreeing to it. What, oh my what God. the? What the Are fuck you is this? With this right now? What, what, what is this? You and, and you, you got me set up. Oh my God. These you. You already know this. Not even in my fucking character. I'm person, not doing but anything. You're not doing anything. I just heard the whole fucking conversation. Be a woman and admit shit. So Melissa, like I said, this entire thing was a test, and um, Jaquan was actually upsstairs the entire time, like watching the entire and listening time. in so like, every everything. Thing. So he knows like the entire conversation that you to everything. Just you're had laughing at shit. He telling you he got these cars. He telling you he just signed a contract and all that, and you what you just getting getting all excited you, and shit. No, like, I mean what what what? I, I thought I, I thought you. I lost my job. I'm working. You lost your job. So what? What were you willing to do? Sell your pussy for your because you lost oh your job God, to make a little fucking God. money. Woo. To make a little bit of money, you sell your pussy. He tell you he got a house. What? Who's selling he, he, anything? He tell you got a house. You, you come in with the views. You love your Instagram picture. You probably was like, oh, this would be a, a great background okay, for my shit. I can't compliment someone's house. You're being ridiculous. Ain't no fucking, ain't no complimenting. Ain't none of that shit. The way you was reacting to him, you was entertaining everything. The steak dinner, so the Vegas, Can you turn the, on? the Vegas. He tell you he got this car. You all excited. He tell you he just signed and all that. You talk about, oh, I want to listen to your music. That shit should have been stopped. As soon as you, as soon as you felt that shit not being professional. This is so ridiculous! I didn't do anything. You're literally you yeah, this all up for no yeah, reason. Yeah, yeah, you didn't do anything. If I would have let this shit continue, you probably be in fucking Vegas right now I, with him. No one's you probably, said I was you probably actually be in, gonna go. I just said that. I just said you just, that. You just said that. You yeah. just said, you're just saying that because you're in front of me because you got not you got caught. That's what happens when you get fucking caught. It's oh no, I was just joking. Ain't no fucking joking. Oh my God. Ain't no so, joking. You so were what? you were entertaining. You was interested. So this is a fucking setup. You're not who you say you are, and what this is your house. No, I mean I really am a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like this ain't my house. This but... isn't your fucking house. Are you kidding? Me? No, it's not his fucking house. So what? You still wanna go to Vegas with him? I wasn't actually gonna go. You, you was gonna go. Don't fucking lie to me. Don't do that. You got fucking caught, and I, and I need you to admit it. Be a woman. I'm not. Be a woman and admit it. No, I didn't do anything. You didn't, you didn't do anything yet. That's the key word. Stop yet. Stop yelling, first of all. Stop yelling. You're literally stop, screaming at stop, me. Stop yelling. I just fucking watched you entertain another man. And you want me to stop yelling? You think this shit is okay? You think? Can we just talk about this in private or something? And pri it's too fucking late what for a private. What are you gonna do with this footage? It's too you, late for a fucking private. It's too late for a private. Don't, don't worry about what's going to be done with the fucking footage. Worry about what's in front of you. Me right Who now. Who does this? Like, I worry about what's in front of you. Me right now. I would never do this to you. You would never do what to me? Set up a fucking camera crew to Look. come fucking expose you or whatever the fuck you're doing. No, 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 no. You already know this not even in my fucking character. But I was, yeah, feeling, so I, but I was feeling something though. This shit is crazy. Like you walked in on me and another guy. Like, not, not fucking yet. Now, oh now, now, gosh, now, now, now. <laughs> oh, everything is funny now to you. Oh my God. Everything is funny. Everything is for you acting like you're a fucking good girl. You're so too goody, good shoes and shit, and you're loyal. So Melissa, you don't think anything would have happened had this like continued further, or had like Jaquan not been here or set this up? Like you don't think like if this was Who's actually this guy? Real? it doesn't matter who he is. He, he's, he's asking you a question. Okay, since it's all of your guys' business now, I wasn't gonna do anything. You wasn't gonna do anything. I, I oh, it's so fucking convenient I, to say I was you just wasn't gonna, gonna do anything when you get caught here and not. It's so go. I wasn't gonna go. You told him, oh, let me move some things around. Yeah, I wasn't actually gonna. What go. the what, what the fuck was gonna move around? A lie to tell me. Me? Probably gonna say, oh, I'm going to Vegas with my friends or something. Make, make up some stupid dumb shit for me to believe. And the whole time, you're with him in his Ferrari or whatever fucking car he said he got. That's what you want? You want a rapper? Huh? No, I... You, you, do, do you want a rapper? Because that, that's, that's what, that's what, that's what the fuck I just witnessed. Oh I just have to witness the person that I'm with. All right. Act like just... that. Oh, all right, what? Where you going? Leave, Where you going? Stop. Where you going? Where are you going? Stop. Huh? Jaquan, you've been huh? so fucking Nah, going. no. Just admit it. My Just admit. You was going to do something, weren't you? I wasn't going to. That's a lie. I wouldn't. Yeah, I would, I'm fucking Jaquan. I'm leaving. Fuck me. Fuck me. Stop. You would have went to Vegas. Stop. You would have went to Vegas and probably fucked him, right? Stop. You would have went to Vegas and probably fucked him, right? Leave. Fuck up out of here.